Okay guys, uh, I have a lot of videos where I use big boy trucks, F-350s or Dooley's, Dodge, 3500s with some big boy wheels, but this is truly a big boy truck. It's a 1996 Hummer, and um, customer just bought it. Believe it or not, he spent $38,000 on a 1996. These trucks really do hold their value. Um, Stoudemire, one of the basketball players, this was his former truck. Well, he brought it to us because we're going to take care of some curb rash for him in a bend. Okay, I want to show you that we can work on pretty much anything. It doesn't matter. Ferrari, Hummers, motorcycles, boats, trailers, cars, we do it all. But it's a beautiful truck. They never, ever go out of style. I want to show you the wheels. We've already taken them off, and uh, we're taking the tires off. They got some pretty nasty curb rash. This one right here, if I roll it up, you can see the bend in the wheel right there. And it took a chunk of the wheel out, a little here and a little there. The other wheel is just as bad. It's got a nice little gouge missing. Let me find the gouge. There we go. This is the one that's really bent. You see the bend here? pretty profound and it took a nice chunk out right there and here but we're going to take this bend out paint it and get ready to curb rash i'm going to bang this out all in one day this is what we do at houston wheel repair org mywheeldoctor.com we are the best okay guys i want to show you uh the next step on these wheels oh jesus these wheels are extremely heavy my guy has cut out the curb rash as you can see and actually, we had to do more welding than what we anticipated. We had to do some welding here, as you can see. And uh, we took the um, finish off, and now we get ready to prep it and get it ready for paint. I'll show you the other wheel, uh, what the welding looks like before our guys refinish. We have to weld it here and weld it there. Those are called beads. We have to run a bead here and run a bead there because there was material missing from the wheel. If you look, you can see where the material has been added. The next step is to put it on this machine, which is a lake, and we're gonna cut that wheel and make it flush. Then my guy has got to do some sanding, prepping, and then paint. This is a huge wheel. Oh, wow, this is a, um, geez, man, it's a monster wheel. Let's just say that much, it's pretty heavy. But this is what we do. He's from realrepair.org, mywheeldoctor.com.